Is there something special you had in mind? Well, we had considered diamonds. Now, I don't want to offend you, but the lady feels that diamonds are tacky for her. John Galliano once said, the joy of dressing is an art, and these are the masters of the art. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 classic fashion designers. Uh, the best things in life are free, was well, not really true, but the wind and the sun are. For this list, we're looking at classic designers from around the world that revolutionized the fashion industry and turned their companies into international labels. So if you're looking for more recent designers, stay tuned for another list. <laughs> Number 10, Hubert de Givenchy. I start when I am not a baby, but a very young man. You know, after I open my, my own house for my 24 years old. Born into French aristocracy, Hubert de Givenchy understood quality at an early age. Celebrated for his feminine and elegant designs, Givenchy built the brand into what it is today, classic. Givenchy introduced the Bettina blouse and the sack silhouette. However, it's his evening gowns that have become red carpet favorites, worn by royals and stars alike, from Jackie O, the Princess of Monaco Grace Kelly, and of course, Audrey Hepburn. The right little suit or dress, or maybe it's a gala, the evening dress that he lends me for these occasions. It takes away, I mean, I still have the nerves, but it gives me the confidence to walk out there. Hepburn became Givenchy's muse and wore Givenchy everywhere from the Academy Awards to breakfast at Tiffany's. Today, Givenchy is truly synonymous with Parisian chic. You know, my greatest joy in working here is to go through the closets and see the magnificence of the fabrics. Number 9. Karl Lagerfeld. No, you read newspapers in the future, in the future, or there's no no, it looks scary. Huh? Sometimes known as Le Kaiser, German designer Karl Lagerfeld is instantly recognizable for his own sense of style, including his signature white hair, black sunglasses, and high starched collars. Legendary not only as a fashion guru, the creative director of Chanel and his own personal label, but also for his artistic collaborations and fashion photography. I'm never isolated because I'm involved in so many things. Having designed for practically every major brand, including Diesel, H&M, and Chloé, Lagerfeld still finds time to outfit the stars, like Madonna and Kylie Minogue. Beloved and bemoaned, Lagerfeld is also notorious in the industry for taking risks with his art, his tendency towards sensationalism and other controversies. Carl's famous cat is iconic in her own right, raking in $3.25 million last year. Number 8. Yves Saint Laurent. 1999 brought about the end of Saint Laurent's reign over ready-to-wear when Gucci bought out the label. The quote, fashions fade, style is eternal, is often attributed to the Algeria-born Yves Saint Laurent, who reinvented fashion with his designs. In the 60s, he was most famously associated with creating Le Smoking, which was a tuxedo suit for women that eventually paved the way for power suits later donned by authoritative women. The house of Yves Saint Laurent was also made legendary by his ready-to-wear fashion line, since he was the first French courtier to launch one. Praised for his creative genius, non-European influences, and use of non-Caucasian models, Yves Saint Laurent is indeed eternal. Got chucks on with Saint Laurent, gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. Number 7. Gianni Versace It's like I'm already living in the next century. I like to think of the future without forgetting the past. Italian fashion sensation Gianni Versace was known for his creativity in fashion design, like incorporating aluminum mesh and using neo couture laser technology to combine leather with rubber. His work accentuated sexiness and seduction, and he was particularly famous for his siren dresses. Gianni's clientele ranged from those who loved taking advantage of a city's nightlife to high-profile individuals like Princess Diana, Madonna, and Elton John. When my brother died, and the way he died, I took some strength. I said, we're gonna do it. Don't worry. Though his sister Donatella later became the head of design following his death, there would be no Versace without Gianni. From when I start, I always say, be yourself. It's the only fashion you can wear, it's you. That is Versace. That was the philosophy I had from when I was very young. Number 6. Guccio Gucci Florence-born fashion designer Guccio Gucci established the first Gucci shop in 1921 
and ultimately became renowned for mastering leather accessories, most notably his legendary Gucci handbags. Upon his death in 1953, the House of Gucci came together when his sons stepped into their father's shoes to expand the Gucci brand and open stores overseas. Today, with product lines expanding into makeup, fragrance, jewelry, watches, and footwear, Gucci is truly the gold standard for quality and class. Number 5. Giorgio Armani I draw the men's collection with my left hand. It's like a welcome ritual, almost the way a pianist practices scales. Suits make the man, and this man made suits. As a young man, Armani was interested in the human body and spent a few years studying medicine. He soon became interested in the human body in a different way, after getting a taste of the fashion world while serving in the military in Milan. The rest, as they say, is history. Since Armani turned his focus to designing clothing, his eye for lines and attraction to elegance eventually transferred to his now-celebrated Armani suits. From stitching sutures to tailoring, form and function are all hallmarks of an Armani suit. Giorgio Armani's line is his eye um, that uh, he understands the character. He understands the characters and therefore the costume or the uh, dressing of the character really is the character. Thanks to his red carpet fashion, stars like Martin Scorsese, Kate Blanchett, and Megan Fox have been found to wear Armani quite often. With a fortune of over $8 billion, Armani is definitely one of Italy's most successful designers. Non uscire dal mio lavoro per scontrarmi con, con, con l'esterno, col mondo, ma portare il mondo dentro la mia storia, dentro il mio piccolo, la mia piccola realtà. Number four. Valentino Garavani. 25 years later, Valentino is still leading the way in glamour. I know what men want. And what do they want? They want to be beautiful. The Italian designer and fashion icon Valentino has been dubbed the last emperor because of the prestige and deep reverence he's earned in his home country. Groomed to be interested in fashion by his aunt and another local designer, Valentino began studying fashion academically from a young age. Today, his fragrances, extravagant evening garments, and costume designs have been draped over celebrities like Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Jackie Kennedy. In addition to his many accolades, Valentino was also awarded La Légion d'Honneur. Number 3. Ralph Lauren I don't think anybody since Walt Disney has been as successful in persuading millions and millions of people to buy into his fantasies. It's been said that American fashion designer Ralph Lauren once stated, I don't design clothes, I design dreams. Indeed, Lauren must sleep well every night, as he's accumulated a fortune of over $8 billion, according to Forbes. His trademark polo emblem seems to epitomize the lifestyle of those who've gone to universities like Yale, Princeton, and Harvard. The emblem itself was introduced in the 1970s, with Lauren's line of women's suits, though it's now stamped across all of Lauren's products, including the iconic short-sleeve polo shirts. Lauren is forever timeless and traditional. I had an integrity inside me about what I believed in. I, I did it honestly, and, but I had a point of view. Number two, Christian Dior. Je voulais être architecte. Étant couturier, je suis obligé de suivre des lois, des principes d'architecture. This French designer helped put France back on the map as the fashion capital of the world. Beginning with his new look collection in 1947, Dior revolutionized the way women dressed after World War II. In contrast to the limitations being put on fabric at the time, Dior indulged his ideas by using yards of material for his designs and wasn't afraid to show off women's curves. In that sense, Dior reintroduced femininity and luxury into women's wear. With Hollywood ambassadors like Grace Kelly, Marilyn Monroe, and Charlize Theron, Dior has also brought fashion's golden age to new generations. Awesome, the Christian and Christian Dior. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. And you always, always have to worry about, about the competition and which is exciting because that's, that's what makes you strive for doing your very best. Thomas Burberry trained as a country draper. In 1856, at the age of 21, he opened this clothing emporium. Number 
number one, Coco Chanel. Revolution came to pass when, in a stroke of genius, Coco Chanel transformed the female silhouette. She shortened dresses, revealed ankles, freed the waist, eliminated corsets, revived jersey, cut her hair and bronzed her skin. Coco Chanel once said, in order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. Doing away with restrictions of early 20th century fashion, the French designer established the illustrious house of Chanel by designing clothes that liberated women with their sports-inspired casual nature. Chanel set the standard for the simple, modern, chic, and sophisticated woman as personified by the Chanel suit and the little black dress, while her Chanel No. 5 has become one of the world's most recognizable fragrances. As the only fashion designer named in Time's 100 Most Important People of the 20th Century, Coco Chanel is indeed irreplaceable. The orphan of Aubergine had become the Queen of Paris. Before liberating women, she had liberated herself. Do you agree with our list? Which classic fashion designer is your favorite? For more fashionable top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.